What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I've got a quick guide for you in Power World on the best place to put your starting base. I'm going to go over a couple of different options here because when you first start, you know, the game encourages you just to plop your base down and get on with things, which works, but you're setting yourself up for a difficult path ahead. So what I want to show you, this is where you start right now. Most people are going to build their bases on one of these plateaus down below, which is perfectly fine. It's got most of the starting resources you're going to need. It's got all the stuff to catch pals. But before long, you're going to want to move your base relatively quickly, relatively early on. So I recommend, if you want to be cautious, build your base down here. Now, this is just down the hill. The other um, fast travel point is just up there. If you build your base down here, it allows you to move your next base a lot quicker. So as you level up your power box, which is your base hub, eventually you will be able to construct more than one base. You'll be able to have two bases, I think, at level 10, and then three bases at like level 30. I think it's something like that. But it can take a long time. Everyone I know wanted to move their base long before they got the second base option. And the issue with that is to move your base when you've only got one base, you have to go onto the map and then disassemble the power box. When you disassemble the power box, it will destroy all buildings in the area that aren't that are base only buildings. It will leave your basic house structures and that kind of stuff, and all your powers will be put away. But then you're gonna to have to slug all of your materials and stone and, and wood weigh an absolute ton. All the way to your new base whereas if you build a base close to this here you'll be able to fast travel to your new base from here so it's a little bit quicker if you want to be a little bit more brave early on again it's a bit riskier because you are going into sort of higher level territory i would recommend building your base over here so you would come in and start at the start here you'd have to work your way through fair bit of climbing and that involved and come to this location here guys twice i've almost done that now the reason i'm saying to do that is because the main progress blocker in terms of materials you are going to find in this game is iron as soon as you hit a certain point ore is everything you are going to need ore for balls you're going to need ore for ammo you're going to need ore for all the stuff you build at your base it is a massive time sink and the reason i select this point is because it is full of ore so if you're here building your base anyway these ore nodes all respawn and you can get pals so i've got these guys over here but any power the mining skill will do so every time you're at your base, you're getting passive ore income. This is a really useful process for as you progress, because you don't need iron ore too early. But as you go forward, if you've been mining it passively this whole time, you'll get tons. And then when you get a second base, you can build a more, a more prettier base or a bigger base somewhere else. But I would recommend if you want to be cautious, put your first base here. That way you're closer to where you need to be for a lot of the materials. It's better than this location here. And you can fast travel straight to your new base if you want to deconstruct your old base before getting the second base option. If you want to be a bit braver, I would recommend building your base here so you've got a regular iron supply and there's plenty of plenty of space to build. So guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get when you get back to the game. If we help you out today, do like, subscribe, we do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.